What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Vlog. Today on Indie Interview, I'm joined by Personal Space. Some of you may know him as he was the man that won the Sound of Us Challenge, but I'm going to pass it on to Personal Space to give a better introduction of himself than I ever could. So Personal Space, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Hey, guys, what's going on? Personal Space Hip Hop from Brisbane, Australia. Uh, originally a battle rapper, but now I'm conquering the music side of shit. Uh, you can find me on Spotify, you can find me on YouTube, you can find me everywhere. Let's get this interview started. Dope, dope, dope. All right, man. I like the energy, I like the energy. Let's get straight into it. Now, the good thing about you, you know, most other artists I interview, I don't, I don't have other interviews to work off. But thankfully with you, you had a you had an interview with Daniel Raymond. Um, and you mentioned, you mentioned on his interview that you started making music professionally in 2020, uh, but you were you were involved in the scene for a lot longer before that. What happened in 2020 to make you be like, all right, like I want to actually try go pro with this shit? Yeah, well, it was like when I was doing the battle rap shit, I was kind of, as the name Propaganda Poet, I was kind of like making music, but it was of double time conspiracy rap. That was basically like all I wanted to make was double time conspiracy rap. So yeah. before 2020, I went through some like life trauma shit that kind of changed how I looked at music in general. Mm -hmm. And so then from then I changed the name to personal space. And from that, I wanted to move forward with emotional music, relatable music, music that shit from the things that I've been through. I wanted to use that to make that sort of art instead of just rapping about fucking pineal glands and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that, so the, your controversial raps, I guess you could say before that, did you not think that was something that you could properly distribute to people? Is that why you didn't go full on with that? Uh, I couldn't rap on a beat at the time. So right, <laughs> there okay. was very little chance that I was going to be blowing up the music world with that. Now, that's yeah. why I started with the battle rap. I couldn't rap on beat. So I was like, I need to use my, my skills of rhyming in a way and I can't rap on beat or I'm not very good. I'm not, it's not worth me pursuing rapping on beat because I'm not good at it. How do I still use my shit? Fucking battle rap yeah dope dope okay i see so you sort of got to a point in 2020 where you know some life events happened and your skill got better where you're like you know what i can actually make something out of this that's going to be good enough to show to people literally bro i befriended a guy from brisbane called acism if you haven't heard of him check him out a-c-i-z-m fucking mm -hmm. incredible bro incredible features with be real features with slain anyway i sort of was under his wing and he sort of broke down a formula that I could follow. And when I sort of like looked at it realistically, I was like, well, there's really no way that I can't make music, can't make money off my music eventually following a formula like this. It was pretty much broken down to me to the easiest way to look at it without it all feeling like it was too much and a mountain I could never climb. Yeah, yeah. Dope, man. That's crazy. Like having that sort of guidance uh, by someone that's, you know, up there in the game is definitely, it's, Bro, this entire value. setup I bought from him. I bought his whole setup. Because oh, I figured if I like bought the best possible shit I could get and then I made nothing of myself, it was only on me. Because yeah. I had everything at my disposal to make it. Yeah. So I just went out and I just copped. And then when he bought his new setup, a lot of the stuff, he bought the same shit again. So I was like, oh, well, I know that it's the best because he isn't trying to upgrade on top of what I bought off him anyway yeah yeah dope oh that's sick man yeah you're right you, now you've got all the right tools and you've got the right knowledge so you may as well just go for it just grinding that's what it was about losing the ego and grinding yeah yeah for sure um all right awesome man going on to the next question you mentioned you, know, you did a lot of battle rapping before you started putting out music professionally um and i guess because of that you know that means you've performed live many many times i assume um yep. what's one piece of advice you would give to someone that hasn't stepped on stage before Probably like nobody gives a fuck. You overthink everything so much. And so like you make the worst possible things that can happen in your mind. Nobody cares. Most people are drinking their drink, barely able to understand the words you say on stage. It just sounds like it's good. Like you just, you need to like step back and just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Straight so up, just get out of your own because head. Overthinking it. Yeah. You just got to really get out of your own head and just do it. Bro, literally. Nobody is caring about all these little things that we worry about so much. They don't care. Yeah, that's so true. I mean, but you know, it's hard for artists. Like we, we are always our own biggest critics. 
you know? So even if we make the smallest, tiny little fuck up, we're going to think about that for the next like three days. <laughs> and we think that everyone saw that and everyone that then is talking, is talking about the fuck up. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. That's life, man. Everyone's got their own fucking journey. They're on. No one cares about anyone else's. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. I think that's, yeah, that's a great piece of advice, especially when you're new on the game as well, right? Like new on the scene, you don't have, you don't have some sort of reputation to uphold, you know, exactly so people right. don't really have like you, they don't have any expectations of you. You just set yep. super high expectations on yourself. Exactly. Yep. You, you go as good as you want to go and then you build up from there. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Perfect. That was, that was perfectly answered. Um, so, you know, rappers and musicians these days we have to do a lot of the work ourselves you know the design work the promo and all of that so besides oh, yeah. obviously you know you do your own vocals and everything besides the vocals what other parts of the process do you handle and what parts do you outsource to other people well i write no one writes for me i write mm -hmm. all my own shit i don't yeah. meant that as well but yeah no, definitely mm -hmm. write my own shit yeah. um as far as mixing and mastering, I pretty much started off with Dan the Underdog as my go-to for that. Mm -hmm. I've branched off a little bit throughout. Um, Deezer, Rob Shaker, Shay Michaels, Brendan James, a few different other dope mixes, but yeah. Dan the Underdog is like the is like home. All right. So he's like your, he's your go to. He's your go-to producer if you want something. He's the man. Yeah. If I need something mixed, I need something. Uh, he was doing artwork for me at one point, but then now mega. Shut up, Meg covers all my artwork. I get all oh, my graphic okay. design done by him. It's kind of like I've got an in-house graphic designer now, so it's like, yeah, oh, so but he's the homie as well, and he's really, really good. So those yeah. two things. Yeah, no, I've, I've heard, I've heard Mega on um on on like songs with you as well. He's he's dope. So he does he does a lot of the artworks. Because I remember, like recently, I've seen some crazy, crazy dope artworks from you for like the whole Conquest hip hop thing, and there was. There's something else before that I can't remember the name, but the artworks and graphics you had going on for that were fucking sick. So Mega made all of that. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. I appreciate that. When I came into this thing, I kind of like came into it more visually than music-wise. And at the mm -hmm. start, that was bad because the music wasn't as good, but I always had dope artwork. You can go back and the artwork, even from the start, is sick. Because there was something about being visually locked in as well as the music being good that I just... I just, I, I had that on lock. Um, yeah, yeah oh, pretty much okay. Mega's done all the artwork. It was the Extended Perspectives EP that I had Go Real Art do mm -hmm. all of the single artworks for that. And then pretty much from then, it's been Dan the Underdog and Megalodon that have done all the artworks. Yeah. So you're probably talking about Da Vinci as the other cool one. And yeah, yes, Mega did that yeah, one as well. Yeah, Mega yeah, did that yeah. one. He did all the designs on the Lyrical Conquest shit. Yeah. He's doing all the designs on our Conquest shit. Dope. That's crazy, man. So you, you, ba you basically got your own little, your team, your clan, like built there in Brizzy already. I assume all these people are from Brizzy? Uh, Dan's from Alice Springs, I believe. Oh, right. Okay. But all, all the other producers and stuff you mentioned, they're all Brizzy. I didn't mention up. Daniel Raymond. That's another producer who's helped me out. I've take, gotten massive. Most of my last songs have been Daniel Raymond beats. Uh, oh, Feel God. the Breeze, Da Vinci, Dumpers and Roach Clips. That's all been D Daniel Raymond beats. I've pretty much used all the beats I've bought off him now. So I'm back to an open market looking for some new beats. Dope, man. Dope. Well, if you're, if you're- I've used three of the ones that I want off you. Sorry? I've used three of the ones that I want off you so far. Oh, fuck. Dope, man. You haven't released them yet though, have you? I don't think I've heard that. It'll all be on my EP. Yeah, oh, dope, year. man. Sick, sick. Well, if there's any other producers watching this, head up Personal Space with some beats, man. He's he's looking for beats. Kill your so shit. Hit him up, hit him up with some good shit. Um, all right, man, awesome. Well, we'll move on to the next question. Um, you know, recently, you know, this is, I, I, I took part in one of your remix challenges recently too. You've been doing these reels. Kill it, bro. You're doing Kill four it. little challenges. Thanks, man. Um, and I, and I wanna know as a creator, how is how has that helped your reach um, or your growth on Instagram or has it not helped at all? I definitely think it has, bro. I remember, Probably two weeks, maybe three weeks ago, I was like 940 followers. Mm -hmm. And now I'm 1,010 or 15 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that has been the biggest growth that I've seen in a short amount of time. And the only thing that's changed really is I've done started pumping out these remixes. Yeah, dope. Okay. And like a lot of people I see are jumping on on these remixes. Then does this mean that a lot of these people, because you've, you've gained a lot of followers, 
they weren't your followers before? These are just random people that came across. A couple of them. Uh, most of them that have jumped on have been homies that have, that have jumped on to support my challenge. But yeah. as it's gotten bigger, especially the Da Vinci one, there was people that I met through them jumping on my challenge. Yeah, dope. Which was cool. Yeah, That's dope. That's yeah. like literally connecting via Instagram. Yeah, and it's, 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 such a, cool. it's such a fun way to do it too, you know? Like the whole thing exactly. is fun. It's not like... It's just, you know, you're just getting on a beat, you're spitting some shit and there's no, there's no like pressure or anything. You're just rapping. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. It's not getting mixed and mastered. So it's not going to sound perfect. Eventually it doesn't need to sound perfect. Yeah. Just do it. All right. Dope. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for all that, all that great, great knowledge and all, all your answers. But now, now it's time for the most, most important question. What you didn't prepare me for. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So personal space, myself and the people would like to know. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Would you rather fuck Queen Elizabeth's corpse or not be able to make or listen to any music for one year? Ooh. <laughs> I'm probably going to take a year off music, to be honest. I don't, I don't know if that's going to turn people off that me being so passionate about hip-hop and all, but I just, you know, corpses aren't really my thing. I was a juggler at one point, so that would say that they are, but uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to go for a year of no hip-hop. Year of no, all right, all right, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. Um, personally, I would fuck Queen Elizabeth's corpse, like, regardless. So for me, it's like a win-win. Uh, <laughs> I did say you were fucked up, and I expected a fucked up question, so <laughs> I, I, gotta, I, gotta I can't say I'm surprised. I kept it simple. And then I open up your story today and it's like, bam. Yeah, that's right. There's, there's that fuck up that I know. I've, I've come to get oh, used shit. to it. Sometimes I forget I got co-workers and shit on Instagram. And then I see them at work the next day and they're like, what the fuck did you post? And I'm like, oh, shit. My bad. Oh, my real side. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit man all right well the last little thing before, before i let you go and get on with your day i don't know if you're you're familiar with this but at the end of my little interviews i've got a small little challenge um and the challenge is super super easy challenge the challenge is just being able it's saying the alphabet as fast as you possibly can oh wow there's a, le okay. there's a leaderboard at the moment i think the fastest time is like under three seconds or something like that i can't remember off the top of my head I'll take Easy. I'll take like a recording on my phone here, but then yeah. edit, I'll get like the exact timing. Um, you got <laughs> two attempts to say the alphabet as fast as you possibly can. I've like, never tried to. Can I have a, a rehearsal before I try? Yeah, yeah, go, go, go have a rehearsal. Uh, give, me, give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Okay, I want, okay. I want. A few moments later. Yeah, all right. yeah, I don't think I can do this. I'm ready to start timing. So you just start the alphabet whenever you're ready and I'll stop it whenever you're finished. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, L, M, P, Q, R, X, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. Holy fuck. Okay, bro, that was that was too fast for my reaction. Like, am, I got 2.2 seconds, but I reckon that was faster than 2.2 because I, th I think I started a little bit too late. But we'll, we'll, I'll give the exact time and post edit, but that is definitely the fucking fastest. If, if that, was that, did I say it all though? Yeah, I'll, I'll have to slow it down and post edit to figure out. But that sounded good to me. Like, it sounded good. Let me do a second one then. Let yeah, me do a second it, one. You got another attempt. Ready whenever you are. A B C D F G H I J K L M P Q R X T U V W X Y Z. Whoo! You def you definitely got every letter that time. It was slightly was slightly slower. slower. It was like two point three. The other one was two point two. Um, but in post edit, I'll I'll see which one you actually got all the letters in and which one was faster. You fucking, you went out the gate so fast. <laughs> That's dope, man. I didn't know I had the skill to uh, say the alphabet fast. There you yeah, go. Absolutely fucking killed him, man. All right, man. Well, that that wraps it up for this video. Uh, is there anything you want to tell the people? Any new music you got coming up? Any projects or anything that you want the people to keep an eye on? Uh, my brother Megalodon and I are the Conquest Hip Hop. We're currently putting all our solo music aside for the moment and just pushing that. So that'll probably be for the next two to three months. Got an EP coming, got shows coming merch everything that's going to be the focus and then it'll be getting back into the solo shit next year so if everyone can jump on and make sure they follow the conquest follow our spotify follow our youtube cheers for having me on bro i appreciate course, you man, me up. Course. Me great having you absolutely you great killed the bombs you. away challenge that was super dope yeah thanks man thank you and hey, thank you again as well for doing the sound of us challenge that was dope your verse on that was fucking sick these are all sad cunts for not doing it by the way it's a fucking <laughs> mad beat Bro, I'm, I'm money just, and beats for it. 
I'm just I would have so beat glad. you anyway, but I got it without having to beat you. Yeah, I'm just I'm just so glad that at least the person that did it was fucking dope. It would have hurt so much giving that away to someone that wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Anyways, man, that quality control is important. Awesome. Thank you for watching the vlog. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Take a journey with me. I don't know where to go. Just know I want to get out of here and out that dough. If you know a place, come on, share it with me. This ain't fall walls.